Okay, a central angle of a circle of radius 5 centimeters cuts off an arc of length 8.2 centimeters. What's the measure of the angle in radians? Okay, so here you might see some familiar things. We see we have a central angle. Uh, we know the radius of our circle is 5. Uh, we see arc length here is 8.2. We want to know the measure of the angle in radians. Well, we know the formula for arc length is the arc length is equal to the radius of the circle times the angle measure of the central angle um, in radians. Uh, let's look at what we have and what we want. We want the measure of the angle in radians, so we don't know what theta is right now. Do we know the other parts? Uh, we do. Um, the arc length, or S, was 8.2 centimeters, so I'm just going to replace that. Okay. The radius, R, was 5 times our theta. We want theta. That's our angle measure. Well, to get it by itself, it's times by 5. We just divide both sides by 5, and we've got our answer. All right, it's 1.64 radians. Okay, so here's one more example of that if you want to try this on your own and then push play, see how it came out. That's probably a good idea, or you can just follow along. So again, we are given the central angle of a circle. I'll even draw it out as we go this time um, with my ugly little circles. Okay, so we have a, a circle, okay, and it says that it has a radius of 10 centimeters. Okay. For that circle, we have some central angle, okay, and that looks like 90. I'm not intending for it to. I just want it to be a central angle on the circle. Um, uh, there's a radius of 10, and the length of the arc, if we were to able to measure along this curve, was 24.6 centimeters. We want to know what was the measure of the angle that created that arc. So again, we use our formula for arc length, but we put in the amounts that we have. We know the arc length is, is 24.6 centimeters. We know the radius is 10 centimeters. We don't know theta. That's what we want to get. We just divide by 10. And when I do that, I get that theta is about 2.46 radians.